Well, the driver police say was involved in the Bakersfield Christmas Parade crash was arrested for driving under the influence again yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens spoke with attorneys to learn more about how this could happen again. Just four months after being arrested for reportedly driving under the influence and crashing into bystanders at the Bakersfield Christmas Parade, Alan Booth was arrested yet again Wednesday night for DUI and driving with a suspended license. One attorney I spoke with tells me this all comes down to an issue with state law. You've got somebody who's involved in a DUI crash back in December. It severely injured uh, three people. Uh, others were injured as well, and yet the guy's out driving around. Less than five minutes away from the scene of the Bakersfield Christmas Parade crash site, 72-year-old Alan Booth was arrested again for DUI. According to the police report, officers arrived at the Jim Burke Ford dealership on Oak Street after receiving a report of a man driving while intoxicated. Matt Clark with Chain Cone Clark says current laws aren't preventing this kind of behavior and consequences need to be harsher. Whether or not that is an increase in the fines, whether or not that's an increase in, uh, in the amounts that judges can set for bail, whether or not it's an increase in uh, uh, the punishment. I also spoke with Jeremy Bramer, the attorney representing Booth, who says no one was injured in Wednesday's incident and wants people to reserve judgment. That's the problem. When you, when you come up with a theory too early, all the facts we end up seeing kind of to fit that theory. In response to Booth driving with a suspended license. You know, when he was arrested, he suffered a broken neck in three areas and a broken humerus. So he was in the hospital having surgeries. The Department of Motor Vehicles mailed him a form requesting his response within five days. Well, he was in surgery, didn't have any ability to respond. He says the suspension wasn't related to the DUI, but was only due to being involved in a big accident. According to the California DMV, they're required to suspend driving privileges for anyone arrested for DUI. To prevent this from happening again, Bramer says he will propose various monitoring requirements for Booth. Meanwhile, Clark says everyone on the street is at risk if Booth is able to get behind the wheel again. Assuming he bails out in the coming days, to everybody that lives in our community, what's going to prevent him from doing this again? Bramer says Booth will be in court for his arraignment on Friday afternoon. His next court appearance for the charges for the December crash will be at the end of May. In Bakersfield, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.